All right, it's time to take a look at haste to the wedding, measure by measure. Remember, we're in the double C tuning. We're also capoed up to the second fret so that we're playing in the key of D as opposed to C. And of course, our fifth string is tuned up from a G to an A. Let's go ahead and take a look at measure number one. As always, we'll include that pickup note there so that open third string, that eighth note, right before the first official measure will also be included here. Let me play that for you. Again. And notice I'm doing that hammer on there with the third and fourth fingers, my ring and pinky fingers. That's going to be difficult for most folks. It's difficult for me to not a lot of strength in your pinky, even if you've worked to uh, to remedy that. Uh, but I recommend that you use that that fingering because that'll keep you in the position here with your left hand that'll be most conducive to the rest of the uh, phrases here in the A part. So uh, try not to to cheat on that one. All right, on to the second measure. We've got a couple triplet figures with some drop thumbing. This is straight out of our exercises here. It shouldn't be anything new to you. That takes us on to the third measure. Again, some drop thumbing for the first half with drop thumbing triplet. Second half involves that alternate string pull off like we covered in the exercises. So we're using our first finger to pull off that open second string. That's our first finger on our left hand. Let me play that whole measure. That takes us on to the second line. Uh, the first half of the second line is a triplet. We're using a hammer on to get that middle note of the triplet. Let me do that for you a little more cleanly. Now, the second half, our right hand is just doing quarter eighth, just like we practice in the exercises quarter eighth. Da, 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 da. Uh, but on that where that eighth note usually is, we're splitting that into two notes, uh, which render as sixteenth notes. Anyway, I'll play that whole measure for you, and you can just listen and repeat. All right, let's take a look at the second measure in this line. This is the same as our opening measure of the tune. Watch your fingering there on your left hand. Next measure is the same as the second measure of the tune. So you should be good on that. Uh, let's take a look at the third line. Um, here we start out with a familiar idea, drop thumb. Then the last half of the measure, another triplet. This time we're just kind of doing a knockdown triplet on the first and fifth strings. So that whole measure. Again, I can't stress enough to emulate the left hand fingering I'm using. It is not on accident. It's definitely what I've decided is probably the best approach for most of this tune. There's a couple spots where it's probably a judgment call, but I think when in doubt, always, always follow my suggestions. Even if you're not in doubt, always follow my fingering suggestions. You can always change them later down the road when you've got enough uh, skill and experience to know that you're making an educated decision. Okay, that lecture's over. Let's take a look at the second fret or the second measure here, the first ending. Again. So this is just two pairs of quarter note, eighth note rhythmic units 
Um, I'm using my thumb to catch that fifth fret on the third string. That's a unison note. It's the same note as the open second string. So we're really just breaking up this open string note that is kind of the last note of the, the melody there. Um, you can, if you think about how we did this in our exercises, you could, of course, just use your finger the whole time. You don't have to use your thumb to execute that fifth fret note. You could do it this way. It's up to you whether you want to use your thumb or your finger to get that unison note. Uh, but it's a nice little touch there at the end of the, the melody. Let's take a look. Uh, well, at this point, remember, we would repeat, go back and do the whole A part again. And then when we get back to the end, we'd skip that first, first ending and go to the second ending. So let's take a look at the second ending. It's essentially the same. But it ends with those two pickup notes. Now again, it's up to you on that fifth fret note if you want to use your thumb or your finger. That's a judgment call. You'll notice I'm using my thumb. It just uh, seems to facilitate the, the feel and the phrasing that I, I want a little better than when I use my finger. So those last two notes are the pickup notes that take us into the B part. So let's take a look at that part of the tune. We're on line number four now, measure number one. So we can just grab, slap our fingers here in this position. I'm using my second and third fingers on the fifth and fourth frets. Execute two of those drop thumb triplet maneuvers with your right hand and you're good to go. Takes us to the next measure where we slide up. Notice I'm, again, just using a static uh, hand, a static finger position on my left hand. I'm doing a partial bar. I'm holding down the fifth frets on the first and the second string at once, and the seventh fret up here on the first string. And then you'll notice I'm going to come up with my second finger near the end and grab the seventh fret note on the second string as well. It'll look and sound like this. Once you got that, we'll move on to the next measure. Here we're doing some triplets, but we're using some hammer-ons and some pull-offs. We go up and down some melody notes on this first string. Um, since I'm doing those hammers off of the first note of each triplet set, my right hand's just going to be doing that quarter note, eighth note, ba da da kind of thing. You'll see what I mean when we play the measure. continue on with the same basic idea in the next measure which is the first measure of the fifth string of the tab or the fifth line of the tab so take a look at that and play along again we're doing some hammer-ons off of the first note of each of those triplet pieces should be pretty simple for you as well as the next measure the second measure of this line is going to be two dotted quarter notes and again notice I'm using my pinky for the fifth fret um, some of you are going to be tempted to maybe use your third finger or one of your stronger fingers but don't do that just get in the habit of using your pinky there that way you don't have to, to uh, shift and, and leave your position here that's going to help with your accuracy and execution all around um, that measure is simple enough so we'll go on to the third measure of this line and we have a repeat idea so we've done that a few times so we'll carry on we'll look at the first line of the first measure of the last line We'll look at the first measure of the last line. And 
that's also a repeat from an earlier uh, measure in, in the earlier part. So let's take a look at the first ending. That's our second measure on this line. This is just a little variation on the ending we did on the A part. Again. And of course those last two notes are pickup notes and they'll take you back to the beginning of this part. You repeat the whole part. Get to the end, we'll play the second ending this time. And as you see, just another little variation. Note that those are all the same tone, that's all the same note there. The open second string and the fifth fret on the third string. And we're just kind of doing, getting a little playful with how we uh, can play a string of those notes together using the unison notes on adjacent strings. That wraps it up for the measure by measure breakdown of Haste to the Wedding. And now I'll go ahead and play that for you nice and slowly, just the way it's written in the tab. Thank you. 